Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, I am going to review a research project which I believe will become a tool in one way or another soon because the ideas which they have discussed in this paper seem quite pragmatic and workable. This project, Video Rag, sounds promising because it is a new AI framework that has been designed to improve the accuracy and relevance of generated responses to users' queries in the video format. It achieves this by retrieving and incorporating relevant video content into the response generation process. So basically, you can also call it a multi-modal RAG in one way or another. If you don't know what RAG is, RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation. In very, very simple words, what RAG does is it provides more context of your data to the large language models. Because if you think about it, all of these LLMs, they have been trained on a huge corpus of data, but they don't necessarily contain any data about yourself or your company's data or your private data. In order to provide the context around your own data to these LLMs, you need to do the RAG. So in RAG, what happens is that you take your data, you split it or chunk it into smaller pieces, and then you convert it into numerical representation or vector or embedding as they are called. You store them in a vector store, which is a database. And then whenever a user runs a query from LLM as per your data, the similarity search is run through your vector store and then that prompt of user, that, that question of user is appended with that similar result from your vector store given to LLM and that's how LLM returns a grounded, a context rich response. So that is what RAG is. When it comes to video RAG, for example, if your own personal or private data is in video format, that is where this project is trying to help out. So what it does is, it re uh, this retrieves query relevant videos from a large video corpus and utilizes both visual and textual element of the videos. And then it harnesses advanced capabilities of VLMs to directly process video content, capture its multimodal richness, and then it uses automatic speech recognition techniques to generate textual transcription from videos when explicit textual annotations are absent. This actually looks so eerily similar to what we saw just yesterday in this model which was mini cpm o 2.6 which not only does vision also tts video text model lot of other things so i believe that if someone is looking to build a tool on top of this video rack they could just look at this model mini cpm and see if they get uh, if they could leverage it Okay. Now coming back to this video rag, if you look at this diagram, this gives you a conceptual illustration of existing and the proposed rag scenarios. So if you look at the first uh, title A, textual rag, so it retrieves documents which are relevant to queries from a text corpus and incorporates them when generating answers as, as I just explained the vanilla rag. Then in the B, it is a conventional multimodal rag that extends retrieval to include static images. And thirdly, we have on the C video rag, where it further extends external knowledge source to videos. So the question was how to tie how to tie a tie after I cross the wide end over the narrow end, and then it is giving you the answer. So that is quite good. I mean, because even if if you're looking for something when you watch YouTube videos, sometimes it's hard to understand due to various barriers. And that is where you can do the rag to further chat with it to get the idea. So for example, if I there is a video which I have made on the channel, you have some questions around it. Now, instead of asking me, you could just simply do the rag with it. You can chat with that video and get your answers with the help of LLM. How cool is that? Okay. so. And then, for example, if you look at this diagram, this is another illustration of it. So, for example, we have this question that explain how to bake cookies on your car, uh, car dashboard. So, and then it is telling you that uh, this is a retrieved video. So, it has retrieved various similar videos. Is how to do that. And then it is telling you um, how to do that with the video rag. So, pretty cool. And then there is a ground truth too. Similarly, if you look here, Another explain how to make a clay rose and then it, there are similar videos 
there is a generated answer and then it is also matching it with the ground truth so really really good stuff so i believe there are a lot of benefits of uh, this tool because by incorporating multimodal video content it can provide more accurate and informative responses to user queries and the framework's ability to retrieve query relevant videos ensures that generated responses are highly relevant to the user's query more grounded it means and it can also leverage the vast amount of knowledge available in video format especially from youtube and vimeo and a lot of other websites you can build virtual assistants education customer support and the use case about asking the or chatting with the videos on any platform is another use case on the fly so look things are changing very rapidly and you can already appreciate that how far we have come just within matter of months and i believe that these projects like video rag i think they are going to expand the current landscape of rag systems by leveraging a video corpus as the external knowledge source specifically unlike existing works that use the textual representation of videos or assume the existence of query relevant videos without retrieval this video rag retrieves videos based on their relevance to queries but also integrates their multimodal richness including visual and textual element into the rag pipeline that uses the capabilities of vlms so i think the inclusion of visual or textual features or a combination of both really improves retrieval and generation performance and if someone is looking for a startup idea they could take an inspiration from it and build a tool on top of it that's it let me know what do you think before i let you go let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent bot agent bot uh, primarily lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is really ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provides provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video description really cool team behind it so i would highly suggest you to uh, go to this and then check it out also um, a personal request if you are liking the content if it is you know proving beneficial in any case then please consider subscribing to the channel and if you are already subscribed then please do me a favor share it among your network and if you are interested in learning more about rag just go to my channel search rag and then you should literally find thousands of videos which i have done over the last couple of years and you could go i'm more than sure you will be able to find um, anything you're looking for rag whether it is a tool model uh, implementation of rag pipeline and then lot of other things if you don't find anything let me know in the comments happy to help out that's it thanks for all the support